Felix on the inside now, Mary Katani in the white vest. And Priska Jeptu right at the back as Sonia Samuels now on her own running strongly still. Just, just has to keep this one going. She's now got little help from around. She's getting good support as she goes along the route, but as she gets closer to the finish, and people realize this is Britain, the number one British athlete today. Will she be running fast enough to put herself in the rankings for the World Championships in Beijing, or even more excitingly for her, the Olympic Games next year in, in Rio de Janeiro? Well, she's just going through a bit of a, a bad patch, I think, Brendan Joey. She, she was for a long time 229, just slipped to around 230, 230 and a half. Not, nothing drastic. I think she's moving a little bit better than uh, when we saw just a few minutes ago. Yeah. So I think she's just got to work hard here. And if it was a little bit of a bad patch, you get them in the marathon. You, yeah, you, you have to sort of suck it up sometimes and hope it comes back. And I think she's moving better now. Yeah, she definitely looks like she's struggling a bit, but, but she definitely doesn't look like she's struggling more. If anything, she looks better now. And it's just hope she can keep focus. It is tough at this stage of the race, but whether she could take on a bit of sports drink or gel. I know when I was really struggling in my first marathon, just taking on board something, really felt like it gave me that energy boost and just focus on each stride and, and each mile and just will yourself that line. Come on, Sonia, you can do it. Well, she's well in the top 20. So let's look for Sonia Samuels, Bren. Well, it's going to be a tough run in from here. But Sonia has uh, stuck to a task well. And that, uh, I guess uh, she won't quite know really whether her performance today is going to be good enough because uh, it'll be later in the year when the marathon selection policy is announced by UK Athletics. And it's been tough out there. Well, a good performance by Sonia Samuels as she comes in the shadow of Big Ben and hopefully the announcers are getting the message to the crowd that here's Britain's first finisher in the women's race, an athlete who's got a chance of selection now for the World Championships in Beijing and hopefully the time will give her a chance to get close to a spot for the Olympic Games but the selectors will tell us later in the moment well done to Sonia Samuels the elite women at the finish an Ethiopian victory and we go back to the men's race still the six in the leading group the odds are f still there is why that time is under threat because somebody is going to break out of this group we're talking about time, Sonia Samuels, the last we saw her, had slowed a little, was still heading for around 2.31, 2.32. She hasn't got far to go now. And Sonia will certainly be the best of the British athletes today, including Paula Radcliffe. But it's been a, a tough second half of the race. And this is the thing for me, Joe, about for the women is that, you know, the, the elite women, the British women, there's nothing for them to race really out there. And it does become a bit of a time trial in the second half. Because yeah. she's stuck to a task well, but I think she might be a little disappointed with her finishing time here. You can never be too disappointed with a 2.31, no. 2.32 marathon, but it's been hard. Yeah, I mean, she did have to do a lot of that race on her own, and she did really well to just be so gutsy and just keep pushing that pace and it won't be a PB but it will be a very good time for Sonia and she'll definitely have put her marker down there for the selectors to really be able to consider there so she's done a good job here today and well done Sonia. So the cheers ring out recognition that this is Britain's number one in 2015 Sonia Samuels there will be others who uh, will be attacking fast marathons later in the year I'm pretty sure aiming towards if not Beijing, certainly towards Rio next year in 2016. Sonia herself will have her sights on that as well. It could be that she may end up in Beijing running the 10,000 metres, we don't know yet. But today, it's been a good, strong performance in the London Marathon. Did attack it early on, certainly went out with real intent to run under 2.30. Hasn't quite been a day in that respect, but it's been a good, solid run from Sonia Samuels. 2.31.45 and crosses the line after having had a really tough last uh, seven or eight miles, pretty much on her own, but she stuck to it really well. Well done to Sonia Samuels. Being ushered through the finish photograph will be appearing in the Athletics magazines next week. Big crowds here at the finish today, enjoying the wonderful atmosphere. It's always a great achievement to be the first British athlete as well. She should be very proud of herself there today. Well done, Sonia.
Well, if you forgot your watch, most people seem to watch with uh, watches, well, run with watches all the time. And uh, Big Ben always there to remind you exactly what time it is. Of course, for many of the athletes, uh, they all wear a chip, and if it takes 10 minutes to cross the start line,